Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Ultrix tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the join tool. The join tool has its own category because it's such a useful tool. Um, we're going to be using the example provided with the join tool like we usually do. You'll notice that the join tool looks a little bit different. It's got two inputs rather than just one. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be taking our first data set, uh, which has five fields, and joining it with a second data set that has a common field called customer ID. So we want to tell the join record that we want to join on customer ID. We want to uncheck or deselect the customer ID from the right side because we won't need it. It'll be uh, duplicate information. And we see that we have five records that joined. But if we look to the left output of our join, we see that customer ID 456 Galileo does not have a match from the right, so it falls out of the left side of the join. Next, we're going to take a look at uh, joining by multiple fields rather than just one field, uh, multi-dimensional join, we'll call it. Um, so from the left, we're going to grab first name and last name, and our second data set also has first name and last name. Since we have multiple uh, duplicate fields, we're going to say options, deselect de duplicate fields, we'll unselect those two from the right. Uh, looking at the output from our join, we'll see that it looks like everything joins based on first name and last name. We have six records coming out of our J node on our join. If we change our connection progress to show, we'll see that we have six records coming from the left and six from the right, so we don't have any duplicate records. Everything is good here. Next up, we're going to do a join that is much less common and that you need to be very cautious with. This is joining by record position. So we're going to change the radio button here to say join by record position. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave our first name and last name coming from the right so that we can see how this looks. But we're just going to take these records and stack them side by side and they happen to come in in the same order from our default data set. But let's go ahead and grab a sort tool and resort our data from the right and see what happens. So we're going to sort by first name ascending. And now we'll see that in our first record we have Thomas Edison and Benjamin Franklin, which is not the kind of match that we want. Um, so we just again need to be very careful when we uh, do this type of a join by record position. Now, we also have a video on the union tool, so you can check out the union tool, but we're going to quickly talk about the difference between a join and a union. Uh, basically, a union takes our data and stacks it on top of each other, and a join uh, joins on a uh, uh, specific record and uh, uh, puts our data side by side. So a union is going to go, we have four total records that are going to be stacked on top of each other. Um, with a join, we're going to have two records from each data stream that are going to be put side by side. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.